right, time now for the primetime game here. Some of these folks have been up for 24 hours. It's time to wake back up as we shine the spotlight on what could be a preview of the first ever Pac-12 championship game. That remains to be seen. We know this, though. Arizona State has struggled on stages like this. They've lost 15 straight games to the top 10. Haven't won since 2002 here, by the way, when they shot the Ducks. We know all about Oregon's success in Austin Stadium. 19 straight home wins, and that's why they're a big two-touchdown-plus favorite. Now, Kirk, can't pick the game you're calling it, but give us a key here. I, I think a big thing is how Arizona State responds on the road. Uh, Arizona State last week knocked off Utah on the road. It's their fourth win in the last 13 games on the road. So how does Brock Osweiler go on the road with this crowd in Autzen Stadium, a hostile environment, and play? Can they block out the distractions and overcome some adversity, I think, is a big thing to watch. Well, you know, Kirk, we talk about Oregon's offense and the way that you can defend it, the way that you can stop it. you got to have the great personnel. I don't think that Arizona State has the personnel to stop this offense, whether the Michael's playing or not. So I got the Oregon Ducks winning big tonight in the prime time game. Yeah. Right, time for Mr. Corso's head, headgear selection. Trying to improve on a 6-8 and eight record in week 7 all time. Where, where, Lee, where are you? Okay, go. Here we go. Hey, go! <laughs> ah, go! <laughs> He's the leader of the band once again in Eugene. That says it all. You don't, you don't need to say anything, do you? No, not really. <laughs> A symbolic head gear prediction. Oh, <laughs> Lee Corso. <laughs> Enjoy your football Saturday. It's a late one. It's <laughs>